If late payments are holding you back, then this is the perfect video for you. Right now, I'm finishing up with a client that I've been working with for about nine months now. We have maybe five or six late payments left to remove from their credit report. But to date, we have removed 149 late payments from this client's report. So if this is something that's holding you back, stick around to the end of this video. I will be giving you exactly what you need to get the same results. One of the biggest things that holds people back are late payments. They make up 35% of your credit score. So when you rack up one, two, three, 10, 20, 100 late payments, your credit score will drastically be affected. On this channel, we wanna make sure to give you all the tools that you need to be financially free, be able to get the house, the car, start the business that you want, and learn the things that are going to make you more financially knowledgeable and free. That way you can do the things that you've always wanted to and accomplish the things that are on your list. So in this video, we're going to go over everything that you need to remove those late payments from your credit report and watch your credit score jump. We can see anywhere from 30, 50, 100 plus points from removing these late payments. So make sure you follow these steps and stick around to the end to get everything that you need to be able to remove those late payments from your credit report. The very first step that you're going to have to do is make sure that you have an up-to-date copy of your credit report. Don't use Credit Karma. Don't use Credit Sesame. None of those apps. Make sure you have a three bureau report. We need to be able to see everything that is on your credit report side by side. Now, I recommend going over to Credit Hero Score. This is what we use. You can get an up-to-date copy for $1 that will get you a copy of your credit report. Now, one thing is a lot of people periodically check their credit report once a month, once every six months, once every year. You need to be staying up-to-date on this. It's a relatively affordable service to just have credit monitoring. That way, you know if somebody's using your social security number, has identity protection. That way you can see if anybody is using your emails, if there's something on the dark web about you. Make sure that you protect your credit profile. That way when it comes time to get the house, it comes time to get the car, anything that you need, you are going to know that your credit is in tip top shape. So over at Credit Hero Score, you'll see, just come to this website. I'll put the link down in the description you'll be able to get a copy again for $1. This website is gonna help you monitor, protect, and achieve the credit that you want. There is a simulator on there. There are a couple of other features that you'll see once you get inside that's going to really help you take charge and attack that credit profile and make sure it's in the best condition possible. That way you can achieve the goals that you have for yourself. So again, the link will be in the description. It costs $1. This is your very first step. Get a new copy of your credit report. That way we can go through and look at everything that we need to on that report that is negatively affecting your credit. The second step is you need to identify all of the late payments on each account. So you're going to have accounts that have 30 day, 60 day, 90 day, 120 day late payments. Once you have found all of those, what I suggest doing is print out a copy of that credit report and highlight each account with those late payments. Then what you're gonna do is jump over to this letter. This letter is going to be your round one letter. You're going to fill in the information for date, your name, last name, address, the bureau's name and address, so that's gonna be Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. You will have those addresses as well when you get these letters. Go through and where you see dispute item explanation. What you're going to do is put that dispute item, the account name and account number. So let's say for instance, it's Amex, account number, X, 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 0791. You're going to put that there. 
underneath it or beside of it, you're going to put the explanation. Explanation, this account was never 30 days late. This account was never 90 days late. This account was never late. That way you are signifying that the account was never late. This is what needs to be looked at. You need to remove this from my credit. That's what you're going to put under it as to what you want them to do. So delete the payment because the late payment never happened. Payment on this account was never 30 days, was never 60 days, 90 days, 120 days late. At the bottom of this letter, you're going to sign your name, first name, last name, address, birth date, social security number. Now, when you send this letter to the bureau, you're also going to attach a copy of your social security card, a copy of your driver's license, and a utility bill in your name. So that could be anything from a water, electric bill, something along those lines, Wi-Fi, whatever that may be. If you don't have one of those, you can use a bank account that has your name and your home address on it. You can send that. You're going to put all of those in the envelope and send that to the bureaus. Now, let's say that they don't remove all of them round one. It happens very rarely. The thing with credit repair is it doesn't happen overnight. Just like I mentioned with this last client that I was referring to, we removed over 100 late payments. It didn't happen in one month. It took us nine months to remove 100 plus late payments. Now, what we did was continue to send letter after letter after letter after letter, pushing them to do what their job is. And that is to make sure that your credit report is accurate and up to date. So after you've sent round one, you're going to get the bureaus 30 to 45 days to respond. Make sure that you're continuing to check your credit report. So you're going to get that credit report 30 days later. You're going to have a new one. See what has been removed, what has been updated. And then from there, you're going to go to round two. So now once you come to round two, the letter is slightly different. We're getting more aggressive with this letter. Same thing, fill out the information, put the dispute item and explanation. Same thing, account, account number. This account was never late. Delete the item from my credit report. This was never late. From here, they may remove it. They may not. Do not get discouraged. What you're going to do at this point is if after you get that new credit report the next month, if these accounts have not been removed, send the letter again. You can take this to an attorney if that account really was never late and you can go that route. But here's the thing. They want you to give up. Don't give up. Continue to push them and send letter after letter after letter. You have to play the same game that they're playing and they know that more than likely you'll give up before they do. So you're going to have these letters. You'll have the addresses as well. Follow these steps. Come back to this video. Make sure that you're doing everything that you need to to get your credit where it should be and needs to be to accomplish the goals that you have. So now I know you're wondering, how do I get these letters? All you have to do is click the link in the description, go to the page. You'll be able to get a copy of both of these letters, addresses to the bureaus, and you will be able to start this process of removing these late payments from your credit report. I hope this video helps you achieve the next step of getting those late payments off of your credit report. If you need some more information about how to identify negative items and what you're actually looking at on your credit report, I'll link a video. That way you'll be able to go through your credit report and look at all the other items that you may have on your credit report that need to be deleted. Those could be anything from collections to bankruptcies to personal information that doesn't need to be there or hard inquiries. You'll be able to know exactly what should and shouldn't be there and remove these things from your credit report and get that score to continue to go up and up and up. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I really want to hear from you guys. How many late payments are you able to remove? Come back to this video. Watch it. Make sure you know what you're doing and leave me a comment saying, hey, I removed 30 late payments. I removed 10. I removed one. One late payment is still a win. 30 is amazing. So make sure that you come back. I love to hear from you. If you need help, 
leave a comment. I try to get back to every single person that leaves a comment on these videos. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time and bring you as much value as possible to help you continue to achieve those financial goals that you have.